Just ignore us. Yes, don't mind us. Pretend we're not here. Howdy viewers, Brad Proprietor of Barstool Entertainment doing another GTA 5 video. In this case, it is one of Trevor's Freaks and Strangers mission, and you don't need them to get 100%. The main reason is you could potentially kill Trevor off, and well, you would never be able to complete the game at 100%. But I digress. This is Nigel and Mrs. Thornberry. They're Hollywood celebrity freaks who hunt in garbage and want souvenirs, etc. And Trevor comes upon them in the Hollywood or Vinewood Hills, and they wind up befriending him, and they put him on some tasks to, well, get some odd souvenirs for the two of them and you'll find more out about them as you play through their missions so let's get on with the first mission Tangible treasure trove that's a perfectly good sock and an entire courgette well, i think you mean zucchini mrs thornhill just ignore us yes don't mind us pretend we're not here okay you're not jock cranley Actor and artist. I love your work. Oh, stunt double. Oh, our favorite show. Mrs. Thornhill, snap. Watch the birdie. Oh, pretend to throttle me. <laughs> yes, like you did on that, on that poster you did. Yeah, okay, all that would be my pleasure. <laughs> oh. uh, like that, huh? Yeah. Oh. Uh, maybe something oh. like this. Oh. Or like oh. that, huh? You like that? That's enough, huh? Andy. You like that? Oh. Stop. Ooh. Oh. Oh. oh, hey. Oh. Oh. Thank you. Mm. Wow, that's quite a woman oh. there, huh? Oh. We are not worthy. We're, We're not, not worthy. worthy. We're, We're not, not worthy. I'm, I'm not Jock, uh, what's his name? Cranley. Big star in the 80s. We well, love celebs. That's why we came to Tinseltown. Yeah. Before we met you, we were trying to break in to Bruce Spade's house and steal his rubbish. The things these stars throw away. They're not like you or me. M M Mrs. Thornhill has the most unbelievable collection of celebrity underwear and bathroom products. Things they've actually used themselves. You guys have a great vacation, all right? I gotta go. We could do with some help. All this climbing over walls and rooting through bins. It's such a business. Nigel's got an arthritic knee. Yeah. What do you, uh, what do you need? Just a few fine wood souvenirs for my mm. museum. Look, 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 look at this map. I mean, a lot of these places have famous people living in them and some that are just hanging about. Bring us some things. I'd be very thankful indeed. Americans are the most wonderful people in the world, aren't they? The best! <laughs> Such fun! Ah, <laughs> <sighs> era of fruitcakes. You have to leave the area, and eventually Nigel will send you a text of what he's looking for. And then on the map will appear various locations, you know, like with Franklin did with the um, weed hunt. You have to do them all before you continue on. And I'm waiting for Nigel to contact Trevor. It might be a little bit and a little distance, but again, Things will appear on the map, and you will wind up having to go to those areas, look around, and steal the list of items that Nigel asks you to. And I think we're getting close here. Yeah, the text will pop up at some point. Yeah, forgive me for talking for so long. At some point, you have to leave, I think, the Vinewood Hills area, and then... You'll get the text. Yep, here we go. Nope. Uh, let's see. No text, nothing. Yeah. Eventually, Nigel will contact you. 
and this sucks. I'm going through this. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I mean, hey, that's what carries on this video and this channel. And here we go. I'm going to do a little more driving, and hopefully Nigel will contact Trevor. On the map, you'll see various areas. Mm, yeah, not happening yet. Not happening yet. Probably got to leave the Vinewood area here. This sucks. Okay, now <clears throat> on the map, there's going to be orange areas. In fact, you can see it in the bottom left corner. There is an orange area, and it's close. It's on the golf course. There are other areas here. And you got to cover all the areas. I'm going to this one because it is the first and easiest one to do. You got to get a gold tooth from one of the singers of Love Fist or whatever it is. And this is an easy one to deal with. I bet I could hit your G sharp every time. You guys. Hey man, no more autographs. Hey, that's okay. Now you got to leave the area. Once you leave the area, you can contact Nigel. I'm going to fast forward through, or actually I'm just going to cut to where Trevor is contacted or contacts Nigel. Guess what, you crazy English fruitcake? Oh, I'm dreadful at guessing, aren't I, Mrs. Thornhill? No, she can't hear me. She's washing out a nappy from Samantha Muldoon's dustbin. Yeah, one gold tooth, courtesy of Love Fist, complete with complimentary DNA. Marvelous, marvelous. Oh, Jock, I knew you wouldn't let us down. Toodaloo! The next place I'm going to go to is the golf course, and you can either be really super aggressive or you can kind of, well, be a little more subtle about things. And I tried it super aggressive and failed. The retry was subtle, and I'm going to let you see the most successful way of doing this. So I'm going to cut to where Trevor is somewhat subtle. team of Russian sports scientists? Each of these clubs cost more than I paid my assistant last year. Hey, you! Get out of here! Ah! Ah! Man down! Hey! Where do you think you're going? Souvenir! A token of gratitude to your fans. It's time to give back, Mark. You are out of your mind. Crazy hobo! <laughs> One golf club! Is that too much to ask? These clubs were custom made in Japan. The grips are seal skin. I have sensitive palms. Me too, Mark! Okay, fuck Christ. This isn't worth it. Just take the damn club.
Now Trevor has to lose the cops. And in a golf cart, that's not going to be real easy. And Trevor was not very subtle, was he? But that is what it is. And I'm going to cut to where Trevor, Trevor contacts Nigel. Word up! <laughs> I said it, Mrs. Thornhill. I uh, persuaded Mark Faustenberg to donate one of his golf clubs to your Museum of Dysfunction. Oh, bravo! It will take pride of place on the wall above Jill von Krastenberg's pregnancy test. <laughs> Speak to you soon. I love Americans. You're all so brash and uncomplicated. It wasn't that hard. The next mission I'm going to do is to go and steal some guy's swim trunks. And it's over here. You have to do all four of these missions, and you can do other stuff in between the missions, but you won't be contacted by Nigel for the next phase until you do all four. So let's get on with this mission. Kids. <laughs> You're crazy. I'm calling the cops. Naturally, you gotta lose the cops, and I'm gonna cut over to where Trevor contacts Nigel. It's actually not that hard to lose the cops in a golf cart, surprisingly. Hello, this is Nigel. Please be quick. I'm roaming in the United States of America. It's me and Nutcase. I picked up some clothes from your friend Tyler Dixon. There's even a skid mark. What fantastic news! Wait till Mrs. Thornhill hears about this. Oh, she will be pleased as punch. And then there is the fourth mission, which I put off for a little bit while I was trying to do other things. But I'm going to cut to that so that you can see the final mission of at least this series of collecting souvenirs. Looks like the 80s threw up on the 90s. Hey, Whoa. Carrie, can I bet your pooch? I'm a big fan. Dexy, Dexy! That's your fault, you stupid bald prick! Quick! Go on! Go after him! Someone call the pound! And an ambulance! It's a guy chasing a dog! What is it with you people? Doggy! Come on, doggy! Be good to daddy! Gotcha, you little bastard! There, there. I know, this is weird for all of us. You're gonna make Mission accomplished. Now you gotta leave the area in order to contact Nigel. But I'm gonna slow this down because I didn't believe this happened. I just saw it. The dog got run over by the car. Now he's contacting Nigel. Jock, 
Celebrity news flash! Maniac steals collar from Gary McIntosh's dog in Rockford Hills! Oh, how delightful! Mrs. Thornhill will have me sporting that in the bedroom before the week is out. <laughs> oh, I, I, I joke, of course. <laughs> we really can't thank you enough for all the effort you're going to to make our holiday so special. Ah, don't mention it. I always enjoy meeting people more chemically unbalanced than myself. If you also noticed in the background, the dog got up and ran away. Now that you've completed the collection of these souvenirs, uh, a new blip on the map will appear and you will encounter Nigel and Mrs. Thornhill again. I got you that stuff. Oh, great. Thank you. Where's your wife? Mrs. Thornhill, she's mm. not my wife. She's got a husband and two lovely kiddies at home. We met online. It's no nothing sexual. Where is she? Well, she's been trying to throw herself under celebs' wheels. <laughs> well, well, she can throw herself under my wheels anytime. Oh, <laughs> I knew you were funny, Jock. Yeah. I knew. I would like you. C can I have a hug? Okay. Yeah. Uh, hug, yeah. Uh, Come here. Come here. Uh, I've got a pr protruding hip. It's not a semi. Nigel! Jock! Yeah. You won't believe what's happened! What? Only Al Dinapoli walking. He actually walks! He walks walk among, among us. us! Well, then what are you freaks waiting for? Well, that's a long story. A mistaken identity. And a lot of lies. Stalking is not what I would call it. Oh, me. I told the judge I thought it was unfair. Yes, anyone's trousers could have come undone at that point. Exactly. Jolly bad luck. And we were such fans. Mm. If only we could talk to him. Yes, I know it was only his lawyers and agents. They ruined everything. If we could only get him somewhere private. You see, like that little lockup I know. No problemo. Look, there he is. Oh, shit. It's that crazy English bitch again. Nigel, he remembers me. Oh, to the chariot. Jock, you drive. Quick, he's getting away. Come on, Jock, get in. Hurry, we're going to lose him. He's taking a left turn down the high street, Jock. Wow, Nigel and Mrs. Thornhill aren't married. Oh, that is revealing. Now, with any chase in Grand Theft Auto, you just got to stick with the person you are chasing and follow them because eventually the chase will end with them in an accident and then you can finish the job. It's that easy. So I'm going to fast forward through this chase. And like I said, just stick with the actor guy and eventually things will end up where you can finish the job that you need to finish. Rude not to follow him through the window. Bloody hell! That's a thrill! Ah, uh, would you like me to escort your guest of honor to the trunk? Well, if you don't mind. Oh, come here, you! Come on! Come on! Let me meet your biggest fan! Ah. No! Oh, fucking crazy! Oh, it's Get off me! Uh. You're good to go! Ah, a true gentleman! This is so exciting! Nut jobs. Now, unfortunately, you can't enter Al's car, which sucks. This is not the last time you encounter Nigel and Mrs. Thornhill. There is one final mission that you have to do for them, and it offers you a choice. So let's get on with the final mission. I just don't know. 
he's making such a fuss, these celebs. Oh, they're not like you or me. Ah, ah apart from you, Jock. <laughs> Would you go and get him one of his favorite pizzas? No. Well, then I don't know what to do with him. I mean, he hasn't eaten for a few days. You've kidnapped a major movie star, okay? Now, you can either leave him somewhere and hope he's been sufficiently scared shitless to stay quiet, or you can send him on the kind of trip he won't come back from. Oh, a trip! Such fun! Oh dear, oh dear, what a palaver this is! Decisions, decisions! If you could just handle this, Jock... Al is in the boot of the car. You'd be doing us such a favor. I'm really not one for goodbyes. Oh, my dental work! Now, these train tracks are deliberately far off, and you can have a conversation with Al and decide. Do you want to kill him, or do you want to let him go? I kind of just turn the radio off and let the conversation fly. He offers you money. He offers a lot of things, but ultimately it is your choice. You park the car on the railroad tracks or you let him go before then. So I'm going to fast forward a little bit and can hear Al make a pitch. bad person. Two, I understand that love takes many forms. And three, most importantly, you've seen all our faces. I've made the mistake of not tying up loose ends once before. I won't tell a so, I promise. We both know you'll go straight to the police. I won't. I fucking swear it. I could give you $10,000 right now. I've decided to accept your kind offer on the understanding that you keep your mouth shut. Unless, of course, you want to be returned to uh, Sir Fruit Cake and Lady Scaroolus back there. No, 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 I, I promise to uh, uh, take it all. Just, just let me go. Hey, keep making terrible movies, Al. Now, if you decide to let him die, Basically, you park the car, crossed uh, railroad tracks, and it is destroyed. I don't think you get the 10000 bucks, but I decided to let Al go. If you found this video informative, hit the thumbs up button, like it, leave a comment. Um, if you like this type of video, I post... Four videos a week involving video games with some special videos as well. So you want to hit the subscribe button and bell icon to stay informed. And most of all, just being here watching this video to the end does a lot for this channel and help build up viewership and algorithms and all that. But please subscribe because then... I'm getting closer to the goals, and I can actually monetize this. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.